I have a question and I doubt you'll have the answer, but I might as well ask. Hello, my beautiful people out there on YouTube. It is a person you don't want to see every day, but you do because I upload constantly. I am Gemma, and today we'll be with her. We will be talking about grocery stores. You know, the fantasy land where you get your food? Yeah, they are. They're amazing, by the way. I love them. And my question for you guys is why are women there so mean to me? It'll all make sense later. Don't even worry about it. Let's cut to the chase. I love going grocery shopping with my mom because crossing off stuff on the list and running around screaming is just amazing. Although I like going shopping with my dad too because sometimes I'll just like put something in the basket and then I'll start laughing and he'll see it and I'll put it back and then I'll be like, oh no, let's just get it. And I'm like, all right, free donuts, you know? But at this grocery store, just a few weeks ago, I had an encounter with these two ladies. Now, these two ladies, like, I saw, whenever we were driving through, trying to find a parking spot, my window was rolled down, and I was listening to the music, you know, oh yeah, jamming out. And these two ladies, one of them was really tall, the other was, like, not short, but, you know, average. Um, the short one was wearing a blue shirt and some basketball shorts, um, and the other one was wearing a baseball cap, a tank top, and some real short shorts. I don't know why that was important, but it was. Just keep watching. Now, I was driving by, well, my mom was, because I don't have a driver's license, because I'm too young, but she was driving by, and these ladies sounded like that they were gossiping about one of their other friend's ex. Because I just heard one of them say, Yeah, Kelly breaking up with Jared just upped my stakes to get him. I kid you not, that's what she said. Now, they were just walking up, and Mom parked, and I got out, and she was like, Here, take the quarter, because we kind of had to pay for the shopping carts for rent and stuff. I don't know why. but And so I run up to get the thing, and there was this lady trying to, you know, get her quarter in so that she could get the shopping cart. And I'm waiting there patiently. I'm like, you know, all right, you know, she's kind of elderly, whatever. And then it's my turn. The lady gets out of the way. I'm there. I'm just minding my own business, doing my stuff. And I feel like I hear someone walking and suddenly they stop. And I suddenly get the feeling that I'm getting the stink eye. And I was. Because I turned around to see who it was. And it was the lady with the baseball cap and the lady in the butte and the blue shirt sitting there going like I was wasting their time. So I obviously am just kind of like, okay. So I get my cart and I go running back to my mom and then they are like, they do this walk like I took a thousand years. They're like, <sighs> like I was wasting their time and, but they had no need to give me the stink eye and look at me like, can you take any longer? It got on my nerves. It really, really, really got on my nerves. Trust me, it did. So I go back to my mom and we're sitting there doing the shopping and then I see these ladies come in and they see me and they give me the stink eye again and I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> Please explain. And mind you, they are being so loud in the store. They're sitting there like, oh, <laughs> and I just, I don't know what to do at this point because I feel like that they're following me because I'm in the cereal section getting cereal. Boom. They're there. I'm walking through trying to find some Dr. Pepper. Boom. They're there. I'm casually just spinning around in circles, and suddenly I see them, and I stop, and boom, they're there. Give me the stink eye. Now, honestly, I'm kind of used to getting some weird looks because apparently having my hair this short is weird, which it's not. It's just... It's hair. It's just the little strings attached to your head that you brush and cut and color. It's hair. So I don't know why, but whatever. And so then I'm pretty sure that my mom um, told me to get some 
some matinees. And so I was like, you know, okay, you know, just getting some matinees. And so I go to the spot to get the matinees, and I'm looking for it. And these ladies, like, they come to the end of the aisle, and I'm right there, and they're just staring at me like they were at the cart, like I was wasting their time. Mind you, they could easily go around me, but they didn't. And, like, I'm still looking for the mayonnaise, and I'm walking, you know, normal pace, trying to keep my eye out, my eye out, and I keep looking up, and they're there going, and, like, as I take a step, they're taking gigantic steps, like, can you go any slower? But then the girl with the baseball cap says, ugh, this is ridiculous, and walks away. The girl with the blue shirt gives me one more glare, then goes following her little comrade, and I'm looking at them, and I'm like, do you have a problem? You want to square up? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to Wally World. Let's go. And then I walk away, and I look back, and they're there getting the machinades. All I could think in my head in that moment was, boy, if you needed the matinees, you could have just said, hey, can I get some matinees? And I would have been like, oh, yeah, sure, and carefully handed it to you so that you wouldn't get COVID-19. I mean, they could have asked, like, if you guys see me in a grocery store and I'm taking forever, you can just ask, hey, can you get me that mayo stirred? And I'll be like, you know, oh, yeah, sorry, and I'll hand it to you and try not to give you COVID. It's so simple. Use your words, ladies and gents, please. Anyways, point being, that really, really got on my nerves. And I don't even know why it did. I mean, it's nothing really, but... It just, it got on my nerves. So that is all I have for you guys today. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notifications, comment. I will be giving a shout out to someone in my next video. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Love ya. Bye.